part two, real life case studies of video and the ROI. So we did it for Javelin. I launched Javelin and I intentionally launched Javelin with no pay-per-click, no SEO and no website. Um, all I had was a landing page uh, and I made that myself. Right, it was a bit naff. We've only recently moved to a full website now. And it was hard because again, I was starting fresh with my network. The people I now needed to reach from previous to my previous network weren't the same people. So I was reaching out to a totally new audience and it took me a while to get the message in right. Um, so it was a lot of trial and error, a lot of outside input, a lot of consideration. And we got to the end of year one, we had, we'd done six figures in revenue, right? So I know it works. And what I would say is nine to 12 months was the sweet spot. We started to get a lot more really qualified leads through at nine to 12 months where there was enough good quality content out there that, that resonated with the right people to turn into customers. But absolutely, I've had loads of people over the last six months now book in completely cold out of the blue, straight into my diary and convert into customers. One meeting. That's what I want for my clients. That's what I want to do for you. Um, it does work. Likelihood is though, most people won't remember seeing your LinkedIn posts, right? So if you want to try and attribute the videos directly to results, you're going to struggle because unless they remember a particular video or remember seeing your posts and you're asking them about it, the only thing they'll remember is coming to your website. You've kind of got to have a bit of faith in the results. You've got to believe that they're working for you, but I can guarantee you, if you have a good conversation with people who are booking in, you will find out that they did see you on LinkedIn, they did see your videos and they do remember you, but you have to remember to ask those questions.